Ready? Three, two, one. Bam. <laughs> uh, now you're my sex slave. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you a video of one of my dates that became very sexual very fast. So the backstory here is that we were doing a podcast, me, Austin Summers, Kevin Ray Wilder, and A.G. Hayden, and we invited a girl on the stream. And we were having each one of the guys in the audience go on a quick five-minute virtual date with her, and then afterwards we would evaluate the game. And this concept was actually a big success. Everyone in the audience enjoyed it, so we're going to definitely do this again. But at the very end of the stream, we thought in the interest of fairness, we should all have a turn. And we decided to do a lightning round where each one of us would get two minutes. And this is what happened when it was my turn. All right, Sharon, it's finally just us two. The moment that you and I have been waiting for during this whole podcast. I was waiting for this. <laughs> I was waiting too. And I got you some, I got you some gifts. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this, this, I tried this before. This is good. You've tried this before or this before? No, this. I never tried the other one. But I, what's that? It's like a, oh. It's, it's a collar, so just put it on. So I'm going to, I'm going to just virtually put it on you. So just ready? Three, two, one. Bam. <laughs> uh, now you're my sex slave. Oh, sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, never, I never use one like that. It's good. So grab the teddy bear and demonstrate what you would do to me if I was in your room. I'm, I'm going to be the teddy bear for a second. If you were my te this teddy bear? Yeah, if I was the teddy bear. Or, I don't know, because I like when a man takes like more uh, control. I know, but I'm kind of limited in how much I can do. Like, I can't, I wish I had big hands so I could just reach through my computer and just my hand comes out in like Mexico City and then I just grab you and choke you a little bit. But unfortunately, we're kind of limited by uh, technology. Um, but yeah, so, okay. So why don't you take the teddy bear and just like, just lower him a little bit, like right here on the cleavage, all there, and then do the motorboating. <laughs> the like motorboat that. and go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay, okay. Have you ever been with a Russian guy? No, i never been. You've never been with a Russian guy? Well, here's your chance. I'm Russian. Oh, really? 100%. Yeah, Gavaryu Paruski. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I can I can whisper dirty Russian shit in your ear. Yeah, it looks like you can show me many things. Yeah, and I also know a little bit of Spanish, so I can seduce you I'm, in my gringo Espanol. And actually, I like your voice. You have like a sexy voice. So thanks. That's, that's just from injecting a lot of testosterone. That makes my voice deeper. So I just just inject a lot of it. So, how are your hands look? Because I like the hands of the. What are my hands? I don't know. It looks like they are big. Like. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You think if the hands are big, something else is big? Yeah, it, it looks good. I yeah. like the hands. I'll also I'll send you some pictures after the podcast. You can uh, evaluate it for yourself. Yes, please. I'm cool. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I want to mention one big caveat. Keep in mind that my turn was two hours into the stream, right? So I didn't go right away. And if I was one of the people that went first, I probably would not have been that sexual or that forward because the girl would have been creeped out. But keep in mind, she was very socially warmed up because again, we were laughing, joking. She went on two hour worth of dates, right? So I could get away with a lot more shit. So think about it like this, right? Like if you're approaching a girl at the bar and you're the first guy that approaches her when she gets to the bar at 7 p.m., you could not be nearly as sexual or at least not as fast as the guy who approaches her at 11.30 midnight, right, when she's already been flirting and joking around with a bunch of guys. So this is something that I probably would not do right away when I go on a date with a girl, unless, of course, there was a very sexual premise, probably something I would do 20 or 30 minutes in. But with that aside, you got a really good look at what I do when I'm on a date. Basically, my game is a combination of sexuality and humor, right? And you can only get away with so much sexualization, right, because the girl starts thinking you're creepy. However, when you balance it out with humor, you can get away with a lot more shit. And this is literally what I do. I'm just very sexual. I build a lot of sexual tension, I crack a lot of jokes, and then just escalate and move things forward. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this concept. If you did, show us some love by smashing the like button, hit subscribe, click the bell for notification. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more of these types of videos. Until next time.